Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2019 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to locate and correct text errors. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a Word document open here and we'll notice as we read through this document we have some errors. And some of these errors can be fixed very easily and some of them we actually need to think about a little bit before we fix them. So the first thing that we'll notice it says, as you know, operating and operating is spelled wrong. Now, fixing the word can be as simple as actually correcting the error yourself, but you will see that operating is spelled wrong because it has a red wavy underline underneath it. And to fix this, you have two options. Again, you can edit it yourself, or you can right click on that word. When you right click on a word in Microsoft Word, if it's misspelled, you'll get two, well, not two always, but you'll get some suggestions on how to fix it. Now, there are some options here that I definitely wanted to go over to explain what they are. The first one says operating. That's the correct spelling of the word. Now I'm not going to select it quite yet because I wanted to go over some other options. Down here, operatizing, that's not what we were trying to say, so we can ignore that one. Down here it says ignore all. Now ignore all is basically ignoring any instance of this misspelled word. This could be a word that is not in Microsoft Word's dictionary. Now, if it's not in Word's dictionary, then um, it, it, it will flag as a misspelled word. Now, if you wanted to fix that, you could always go right here to add to dictionary. And what add to dictionary does is this will take that word and add it to the dictionary so that it never flags it as a misspelled word again. Most instances that I see is like with my students is they'll spell their names and their names will be misspelled and it will pop up with the red wavy underline, which isn't always great. So what they do is they add their name to the dictionary. That way, in future instances of the word, it will not flag that as a misspelled word. So those are some other options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right up here and choose operating, the very first one. When I do that, it changes it to operating. And there we go. That one is fixed. Now you'll see as we move forward that there's more words that are misspelled. So Instead of going to each individual word and changing it that way, we want to use spell check and grammar check. Now, the advantage of this is that we don't miss anything because it's easy to miss things when you're just scrolling through a document with your eyes. But when you have Word do it for you, you know that your errors are not going to be um, passed over. So what we're going to do is anytime we want to do a spell check, we're going to click at the very beginning of our document. You could either click at the beginning or the shortcut for this is to hold down control and press home on your keyboard. Control home will always take you to the beginning of your document. Now that we're at the beginning of the document, it's ready to spell check. Let's go to the review tab up at the top. So you click on review tab and the proofing group is on the right side and then you'll see ABC spelling and grammar. And it says typos, not on our watch. Let us check your spelling and grammar. Now Word does have a grammar checker as well, which we're going to see a grammar error in just a little bit. So let's do spelling and grammar. And you'll see that it opens up a pane on the right side of the page. And this says proofing. All right, so this is the proofing pane. And now it's going to go through and it's going to um, suggest some words for us. And this one says quirgles. All right, and it says, as you know, operating an important business that sells new items such as quirgles in the global area or arena requires careful consideration of the current economic and environmental conditions. Well, quirgles, did we mean squiggles? No, we didn't mean squiggles. So now we say, well, maybe our company sells something called quirgles. If we sell something called quirgles, we do not want to change that spelling. So what we can do is we can say ignore all or add to dictionary. Now these three options down here, here's what they do. Ignore once ignores this instance of it. So this time it says quirgles, we're okay with it, and it ignores it. But the next time quirgles pops up, it'll flag that as a misspelled word. The next one, ignore all, will ignore all instances of quirgles. So throughout this document, the entire time that it sees quirgles, it'll simply ignore it. So that's an option too. And then the last one here is add to dictionary. 
Add to Dictionary will actually add this to Word's Dictionary throughout all of your documents so that even if you type in Quirgles in another document, it's not going to flag that as a misspelled word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Ignore All. That way, anytime it pops up within this document, it will not be flagged. So I click Ignore All. And that will move us on to the next word. When we select our product sources, sources is misspelled. Now here it says sources. It gives us some, um, it looks like uh, synonyms with the word, right? And then we could also read aloud, spell aloud, um, and then some other options down here for autocorrect. But we know this is the correct one, sources. So we simply click on sources and it fixed it within our document. This one here, look at this, it says, we strive to not only improve the local economy, but to, to ensure the preservation of fragile ecologies. Well, that's just a repeated word. So we can either ignore it or delete the repeated word. Well, let's delete it. That way it's not repeated. Next up, committed is spelled wrong. I choose the correct one. We are committed to maximizing our positive impacts. So we know that's the correct one, committed. We click on committed. Next up has a double wavy or double straight underline in blue. This is a grammar error. And it says grammar, possible word error choice. And it says, this is a exciting and challenging venture. It's supposed to be, this is an exciting and challenging venture. There we go. We choose an, there we go. And the next one, and we would like to invite you. Well, that's the wrong way to spell would. Obviously, this could be confusing if um, you know English isn't your first language, or if you just misspelled the word, you see that, oh, it's actually the other instance of this word. So the grammar check will definitely help with those sorts of instances. So we choose the correct would. And finally, we get down here. Now, this is a new instance that I kind of brought up at the beginning of this video. At the beginning of this video, I said some names are not in words dictionary. So we see Agent Christina Patra. Well, Christina Patra is the name. We didn't mean Porta or Optra or Patrak. We wanted Patra to be a last name. Let's just add that to the dictionary. So anytime Patra is seen, uh, it will not flag this throughout the entire time that I use Microsoft Word. So I choose add to dictionary. Finally, down here, we see a travel manual used by our purchasing agents in the field. Now, look at this. It says manual, but this one's capitalized. We remember that with capitalization, it's probably talking about a name there. So it's not a travel manual capitalized. It's actually a travel manual, which is a guide, right? Travel guide. So we're going to choose the second option this time. When we click that, it says spelling and grammar check is complete. We click OK. And so that is how we can check the differences between what words are misspelled, how to add them to a dictionary, how to ignore them once or multiple times, as well as grammar errors when those words are misspelled or we use the wrong instance of the words. So hopefully um, this video helped you out. If it did help you out, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, put it in the comment box below and I'll do my best to respond to you. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Word, I do have a Word 2019 and a Word 2016 playlist on my YouTube channel page, so go check that out. And with that, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.